Hey.
Kuroiwa. I've been waiting for you. Why don't we step inside for a little chat? Another voluntary interrogation? Thought I told you to bring a warrant next time. The hell was that? <sighs> Let's be civilized here, Yagami-san. Fine. Office is pretty dirty, though. So, to what do I owe the honor? There's a leak in the prosecutor's office. Pretty sure it's a woman. Got her hands on some pretty important case files. The one's about the vice director of the ADDC getting beaten to death in the street. You have any ideas? Sorry, not a clue. What kind of lowlife would sell police secrets? Shh. Scum. Right, Ayabe? Totally. The worst. <laughs> Nobody takes us seriously around here. That all you came to ask? I'm sure you guys are just as busy as I am. So, if you're finished, I'm gonna have to ask you to... Right. Izumita wants to talk to you tomorrow. About Shintani's murder. You'll be there. In cuffs if need be. Why am I being treated like a suspect? <laughs> Sorry, that's classified. Just drop by the public prosecutor's office. If you're innocent, you have nothing to worry about. You don't want to deal with getting arrested. Trust me. Better to handle this before it gets to that point. Think of it like that. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Besides, you and Izumina go way back. But how am I going to defend myself if I don't know why he suspects me? Let me guess. I'll find out when I get there. More or less. Who knows what angle Izumita will take. Have it your way. I'll come in and clear the air and we'll be done with this. I'll be in touch tomorrow. <sighs> Asshole's been dragging me everywhere. I can't do a damn thing on my own. I can tell. Looks rough. Yagami-san? Hey, any luck? Yes. I made friends with the girl who served Hoshiki six months ago. We're gonna bounce and go to tender in a few. Perfect. Wait, did you just say bounce?
Sorry, son. Took you long enough. This is Mikasan. Hey, I'm Yagami. Mind if I join you? Be my guest. This is the man you served six months ago? You're certain? Yeah, that's him. We already discussed Hashki and Shono. Mikasan was at their table, without a doubt. That's Shono-san, right? Yeah. What were they like? I guess nothing stood out about them more than any other pair of businessman types. Hashki-san complained about his boss, while Shono-san just nodded and smiled. What was Hashki saying? He was going on and on about this Kido-san guy. Have you heard about that new dementia drug, 89? Uh, yeah. I'm kind of familiar. Not surprised. They used to talk about it on TV a bunch. Anyway, apparently Kido-san's kind of a big shot guy on the 89 research team. And Hashki and Shono were talking shit about him? Yeah. Sounds like Kido-san was getting wined and dined by all sorts of people who wanted to profit off 89. From what I heard, not all those deals were above board. Secret deals, huh? Is Kido-san working with the Yakuza? Hashki-san didn't give specifics, but he did say 89 could buy a lot of influence. And about the cut he'd be getting later. He seemed like a really shady guy, actually. Interesting. This is the man you served six months ago? You're certain? Yeah, that's him. We already discussed Hashki and Shono. Mikasan was at their table, without a doubt. That's Shono-san, right? Yeah. What were they like? I guess nothing stood out about them more than any other pair of businessman types. <laughs> Hashki-san complained about his boss, while Shono-san just nodded and smiled. What was Hashki saying? He was going on and on about this Kido-san guy. Have you heard about that new dementia drug, 89? Uh, yeah. I'm kind of familiar. Not surprised. They used to talk about it on TV a bunch. Anyway, apparently Kido-san's kind of a big shot guy on the 89 research team. And Hashki and Shono were talking shit about him? Yeah. Sounds like Kido-san was getting wined and dined by all sorts of people who wanted to profit off 89. From what I heard, not all those deals were above board. Secret deals, huh? Is Kido-san working with the Yakuza? Hashki-san didn't give specifics, but he did say 89 could buy a lot of influence. And about the cut he'd be getting later. He seemed like a really shady guy, actually. Interesting. Did you ever hear Hashiki mention a Kachihira? Kachihira? It's a big construction company based out of Kansai. Basically, Hashiki was working for this Kachihira, trying to shut down the ADDC. Wait, I thought Hashiki-san was super important, like vice director or something. He was. Kachihira's money was too much for him to refuse, though. Mm. Either way, I, I don't remember hearing them talk about a Kachihira. How was Shono acting that night at the club? Well, <laughs> he spent most of the night staring at my chest. Hashki-san kept going on about Kido-san all the same, though. Maintain eye contact, Yagami-san. Shono-san seemed more interested in being a creep than indulging him, though. 
You don't think he was listening to Hashkisan then? No, nope. didn't seem like it. <laughs> Disgruntled boss on one side, closet perv on the other. But then, out of the blue, Hashkisan said this. There's something fishy going on with 89, I just know it. Did he have any idea what it was? Um, what did he say again? Uh, something about fabrication or falsification? Data fabrication? Falsifying the effects of the drug? Yeah, that was it. He kept going on about how AD9 was too good to be true. And how weird it is that it just came out of nowhere. So he brought Shono to the club to try and figure out if AD9 was real. Right. What did Shono say? Just, there's nothing fishy about it. But then Hashkisan yelled back, I don't believe that for a second. It was kind of awkward seeing how desperate he was. Makes sense he'd be desperate, though. Why? He promised this guy Kajihira he'd shut down the ADDC. Hmm. I gotta say, you remember a lot for a conversation that happened six months ago. Can you blame me? The poor man got beaten to death right afterward. I replay this a lot. Right. Sorry. And at that point, I already knew about 89. You really pulled through for us. It's fine. Come on, I'll walk you back to the office. I want to review what we learned with Hoshino-kun and the others. Sure. Welcome back. You're 
so beautiful, Sarisan. Like a puppy. You should dress like that all the time, Saurikun. Yeah, good luck finding clients. I'm changing. There's a good chance Hashki's murder was premeditated. Just like Chairman Kajihira suspected. That's the conclusion you and Saurikun reached? Yeah. Hashki thought something was up with 89. Doubted the authenticity of the research. Seemed convinced they had fabricated data. He was desperately searching for proof before he died. But was there anything actually wrong with it? I tried analyzing the paper myself to find out, but it's like it was written in a different language. I'm searching for someone more knowledgeable as we speak. But nobody seems to suspect any foul play. Not even online. Yet Hashki was still searching for issues. And if he had managed to find one... The ADDC would be long gone by now. Then they murdered Hashki to keep the secret safe? Don't be ridiculous. Who would kill a man just to protect a research paper? It might not be as unlikely as you think. The ADDC has been bringing in billions of government yen ever since they published that paper. With that much cash involved, bumping someone off wouldn't be out of the question. The question is, who killed Hashki? A professional assassin, if I had to guess. The man in the black raincoat. If he was an assassin, that would mean someone hired him. Yeah. Someone who wanted to protect 89 and the ADDC. But who? Can't begin to imagine. But apparently Kido was out hyping up 89, raking in tons of dirty money in the process. Guy might even be involved with the Yakuza. You're really suspicious of him, Yagami-san. Well, if it looks like a rat... Maybe Shintani got too close to the truth, and Kido offed him for it. The thought has crossed my mind. Don't think we can say that for sure without looking more into Kido, though. But judging from our last visit, that won't be as easy as you make it sound. He's practically a celebrity at this point. Well, maybe if we can't get him to talk, prosecutor's office can. Huh? What do you mean? I've got a meeting with Izumita tomorrow. They're calling me in. Isn't that the prosecutor who was trying to get you arrested? He can try all he wants. That's what this meeting's about. No chance in hell he agrees to help us, then. All depends on how this little chat goes. If I can convince him I'm innocent, I'll clear my name and put the squeeze on Keto all in one fell swoop. What are you planning, Yakami-san? Yo, everything's really falling into place. Guess it's good we let Sauri-san handle the cabaret, huh?
point. Yeah. <laughs> <笑>山さんヤガミさん行かれますそれでは出発。Yo. Got a message for you from Kuroiwa. Says to drop by the Tokyo Public Prosecutor's Office. Izumi is waiting for you. Why'd you have to come here to tell me that? Would have been easier to talk on the phone. I got a bad feeling about all this. Huh? Feels like I'm never gonna see you again if you get yourself locked up now. Come on, don't be like that. Even if I do get arrested. I won't say a word about your little side job. That's what you're worried about, right? Yep. I might have to send someone to bump you off in prison if you rat me out. <laughs> like you could pull that off. Aren't you busy dusting off Kuroiwa's boots? I'm laying low, that's all. Speaking of, I have a question for you now that you're off your leash. Why do they think I killed Chintani? They have to have a reason, right? You've got to know. Well, funny enough, I don't. Kuroiwa won't share a shred of info with anyone but his closest partners. Not sure why. Gotcha. Now, get over to the prosecutor's office. Sorry, but you gotta cover your own cap fare. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I know.
どちらまで行かれますかそれでは出発いたします
the vice director, Toru Hashiki. Hashiki was seen arguing with a strange man in Kamurocho before being found lying beaten in the street. He died in the hospital three weeks later. The culprit is still at large. Did you know of this case? It's the first I've heard of it. Understandable. It didn't make many headlines. Incidentally, this Hashiki guy had a pretty big secret. Uh-huh. Turns out he was working for the Kajihira Group, a massive construction company based out of Kansai. Kajihiro was planning to redevelop the land the ADDC sits on. He'd already settled it with the Minister of Health, had the Kyore clan muscle in on the turf too. But the plan fell apart when AD9 was announced. Kajihira ended up taking a pretty big hit. To the tune of a hundred billion yen. What? That's when Hashiki came in, swearing to Kajihira that he'd scuttle AD9, no matter what it took. <sighs> Just before he was beaten half to death, Hashiki went out with another member of the ADDC. Someone deeply involved in the development of AD9. Someone he thought he could manipulate. I'm sure you recognize this man, Izumira-san. Three years ago, he testified about the murder that had taken place at the ADDC. He claimed he had seen the victim, a patient by the name of Waku, still alive. I remember him. You're referring to Dr. Shono? Mm-hmm. He's also the head of the 89 research team. Hashiki was grilling Shono, convinced that there was something fishy going on with 89. Like what? He thought they had fabricated data falsified the effects of the drug. After all, it wasn't until rumors of closing the ADDC started swirling that Director Kido suddenly announced 89. Hashiki was convinced it was all too convenient to be coincidence. But that doubt didn't sit well with those who stood to rake in massive profits off 89's development. Are you implying Hashiki's murder was premeditated? <laughs> Sounds like we're finally on the same page, Izumida-san. I had the exact same thought. <sighs> Taking all this into account, doesn't it seem like there really is something fishy about 89? Hmm. But let's get back to Shintani. Just before he was murdered, he called the ADDC and tried to get in touch with a very specific someone. Maybe that phone call provoked whoever is trying to hide the truth about 89. Shintani was an obstacle, just like Hashiki. He had to be removed. What I'm saying is, there's a chance anyone who gets too close to learning the true nature of 89 is being murdered. And if you haven't investigated down that path, then one thing's pretty clear. You have a lot more work to do before you can arrest me, wouldn't you say? Answer me, Izumita! <sighs> if you still want to bring me in, let's see some proof. All these prosecutors, and nobody's got any proof. <laughs> That's quite a theory, Yagami-san. Truly fascinating. There were details in there even we weren't aware of. 